For the most part, uh, Hutch and I have been focusing on scaling our uh, multifamily portfolios, but we've been uh, focusing on acquiring these assets uh, through syndications, but you focus on a different approach. And so I wanted to see if you could walk us through the difference between uh, a syndication and a joint venture. Yeah, the best way I've found to explain this is when you think about a syndication, think about going to jump on a jumbo jet, right? You're at the airport, you got your ticket, you give it to the lady, she scans it, you walk down the breezeway, you get on the plane, the stewardess waves at you, the co-pilot and co-pilot smile at you, give you the thumbs up, and then you go sit in your seat. And now you're along for the ride, right? That's what a limited partner does on a syndication. The people that are in the general partnerships, the lady scanning the ticket, uh, the steward, stewardess and the pilots, they're getting paid to be there, right? And so they are the general partners, they're the people doing the work. And depending on which side of the general partnership or the limited partnership you sit, uh, you either are putting money in and not getting dollar for dollar on your equity, or you're putting some sweat in in order to get compensated for your participation in the project. In a joint venture, think about it like a fighter jet. And I want to be a fighter pilot when I was a kid. Right. But everybody's got a job. Right. There aren't any people just going along for the ride. Everybody's either looking for bad guys or shooting or they're flying a jet, whatever it is. There's there's an active role for everybody. And so I personally want to work with, you know, super sharp people who have some capital to invest and we can go take down these deals and they can have a say more so than somebody who just, you know, sends a check in as if this is a stock or bond.